to prepare for the future in the classroom, you learn a lot of the technical skills, those memorization skills, but then getting involved with our different events and organizations really helps you to learn those, almost the soft skills that you need nowadays to basically become successful in the professional world. My favorite thing about teaching at School of Management is by far the students. We have um, the best students on campus. We have students who are committed to their schoolwork. Um, they want to be successful in the classroom, but they are also committed to this community of Fairbanks. They are committed to the university, and they are, um, they're fun to be around. By being the president of the UAS Society of Human Resource chapter, not only am I gaining skills in human resources regarding policies, laws, procedures, I'm also learning great leadership skills and management skills that will apply to any job I choose. I think one problem in our state is that we always see oil as our biggest resource. But I think that's wrong. We have so many intelligent and powerful people here that love this state. And if you educate the people here, then they're most likely going to stay in the state. And they are the ones that's going to make decisions in the future. And we should focus on those people and make sure they want to stay and they have the opportunity to stay and find jobs here. When you transition from the university to real life, I guess, uh, you're prepared for what's really out there. School of Management is really tied to the community in Fairbanks and there are so many ways for students to get involved beyond just what happens on the hill and on campus. During these times, the students need to learn that this too shall pass. Um, the economy always goes ups and downs and there's always cycles and everything to it. This is just sort of a down cycle. Things will grow, things will change and the economy will advance along and just remember that this is probably the best time to get into that cycle. Uh, if we do not have uh, well-educated, prepared young folks coming into our industry and into the everyday mainstream business of the communities, uh, we won't, we're not going to survive. Um, I would say I'd like to share my story. I think I have a unique story in the sense that I didn't come to UAF for the schooling necessarily. I came. I mean, it, it was a good school, but I came because. Bottom line, I want to play hockey, and I think uh, my story is very interesting because I, it, the school has changed my mind and how I think about um, my learning experience here. And so I would like to share my story to potential students and, uh, you know, athletes and, and tell them what a great, uh, great program we have up here. Also, I'd like to think maybe I'd be successful one day and be able to give back to, to the program in other ways. And so... And they'll step into these roles as leaders and provide new perspective. They're going to go out there, they're going to be fearless, they're going to challenge the status quo, they're going to challenge the assumptions that have led us to the situation we're in now. And so I look forward to them getting out there and to asserting leadership.